today we're at Dollar Tree and we're also at Five Below. Now that Dollar Tree has Dollar Tree Plus, it's very similar to the items at Five Below. I'm gonna shop at each store to figure out which store has the better products. It should be a lot of fun, so let's go. Organization is always out at Five Below and Dollar Tree Plus. I do like that Dollar Tree now has some of these stir -like containers. I would say my favorite organization container in this section is this large white one. This one is $3 and I think a great deal. So check out all of the $1.25 organization that Dollar Tree has. Now my store is actually pretty stocked today. I'm seeing a few new items like this over here. Love the size of these. You can get them in the blush. You can get them blue and gray as well. Dollar Tree has these metal organizers that are perfect for a DIY. Now, as you can see at Five Below, the organization section is a lot smaller, but how adorable are these? So pretty. Here's some more organization options at Five Below. Now they are more expensive. Most of their organization items are priced at $5. I really love that clear acrylic container from Five Below, but I'd have to say that the organization definitely is better at Dollar Tree. You can get so many options for around $1.25 and there's a ton to choose from. All right, so pillows, that's something you can find at both stores. They have this Sherpa style here at Dollar Tree. They also have this one in a darker gray. Honestly, I'm not loving any of these. I couldn't see myself picking up any of these pillows. So their pillow option is $5.55. Now, they're not very full pillows, but I really like the fabric on the front. Yeah, there's also kind of this fuzzy Sherpa style. Now, when it comes to pillows, I definitely have to give it to Five Below because there was a huge selection. Plus, I didn't really like any of the pillows from Dollar Tree. So I'm noticing a pretty big selection of bath mats and rugs over here at Dollar Tree. They have this bath rug that's pretty nice. They have a few different colors in gray. There's like a burgundy. And then there's also a blue one down here. But I really like some of these outdoor mats for $5 that you could put outside. That one's nice. And then down here, I like this little welcome mat for $5. That's a pretty good deal. Now, as far as rugs go, they have more of a decorative option here. This is like a circle rug. That is really cute. This one's $5.55. I love all the rug options. Like, look at how cute these are. I love using rugs to recover different things and do DIYs with them. As much as I appreciated the outdoor rugs that they have at Dollar Tree right now, I just love the indoor rugs they have at Five Below. I just think they're so pretty and so unique. So I'm gonna give it to Five Below. Dollar Tree has these $5 stools. I know I've seen something comparable at Five Below, but they have a variety of colors. These are great to add foam to, recover, make your own stools. I also love them for plant stands in my house. Dollar Tree has these stools. You guys, I know I've seen something similar at Five Below. I'm gonna see if I can find it today. This is $5. Now, since I was unable to find a stool at Five Below, I'll have to give a point to Dollar Tree. I'm over in the vase section at Dollar Tree. Now these are all $1.25, but I love every time I come here, I'm able to find some new options in the vases. They also have really cool candle holders as well. These Five Below vases are priced at $5.55. I'm gonna pick up this vase for my paint pour. I'm not sure if it's $5, maybe these are three. I love at Dollar Tree how you can find so many different options for vases and they're $1.25. And I didn't find that many at Five Below, so I'm definitely giving that point to Dollar Tree. Now for the longest time, I've been going to Five Below to pick up my canvas that I use in all my different DIYs. Now here at Dollar Tree, you can get two 11 by 14 canvases for $5. I'm also excited about these wood panels for $3. They're 11 by 14. They would work great as a canvas. You could also turn them this way and use them as a frame. And Five Below has two stretch canvases for $5 at $11.14. That's gotta be a tie. We saw a lot of canvases and craft supplies at both stores. Now, as far as the canvas goes, you can get the same deal at both stores, but I did like that Dollar Tree had those wood canvases. So I'm gonna give this one to Dollar Tree. So I'm looking for an option to do the paint pour with, and I'm not seeing any specialty paint pour paints. So they have these watercolor paint jars at Five Below. So let's try that. 
So first up, we're going to be doing a paint pour with these watercolor paints that I picked up at Five Below. Now, I'm not sure how these are gonna work on the paint pour. I'm using one of the 11 by 14 canvases that I picked up. Now, since these paints were not necessarily meant for paint pour, I decided to mix them with a pouring medium. And it was kind of weird, like as I was opening up these different paints, some of them had a really thin consistency and they would go, you know, straight into the container while others were a little bit thicker and I had to use the end of a spoon to actually put them into my container and mix them with the pouring paints. So I'm not really sure why they were a different consistency, but I just added some of the different paint pour colors that I liked into these three containers. I'm gonna be paint pouring my canvas as well as the pot that I picked up at the store. So I'm gonna put down the canvas, a glass, and then I will set down the planter. Now, the way I like to start is just by kind of putting it at the top and wiggling the paint down. Now, I will say since this was not paint pour paint, it didn't slide down the edges like it normally would. So I kind of had to move it with my cup to kind of get it to go down the edges, but it wasn't doing that like normal paint pour slide down the vase. But again, this was not paint that was meant for paint pouring. So I'm not surprised that it did that. I'm going to move the pot to an area where it can dry. And then with my canvas, I'm just going to start moving the paint around to cover all the sides. I'm also going to try to get some cool shapes by moving it from side to side. When you kind of flip the direction, it changes the way that the paint is moving and you get these really cool different shapes. I was having a little bit of trouble with getting the paint on the side, so I just had to move it around a little bit more. As this paint was drying, it was definitely not my favorite paint to use. I felt like it was broken up and not the best for paint pouring. Dollar Tree has out these new paint pours. So I wanna grab a few of these colors and try them out. I'm gonna get the blue, black, probably this, I think that's like a white, we'll get that. Maybe this green color. We'll go with this goldish yellow and the silver. Now, on the other hand, I was pretty excited to try these new Dollar Tree paint pour paints. These were $3 at the store and they had a bunch of different colors. Now I have to say, I love the way these turned out. These work so well. I tried to keep it consistent like I did with the five below and I'm going to be using some pouring medium. Then I just squeezed in a variety of paint colors. I wanted to use similar colors to what I used in the five below one and I'm just going to pour them into my cup. To set up my paint pour, I'm going to do it the exact same way. I'm gonna put my canvas down first. Then I have a clear container and I'm gonna put my base over the top. And I'm gonna start just wiggling the paint back and forth on the top. Look at how nice this paint pour kind of gives you that paint pour appearance. It runs down the cup. You get those really cool lines. Now, if you're wanting to see more of one color over another, just add that color into one of your cups and add it to your container. I'm gonna set the vase off to dry. I'm gonna add a little bit more paint to my canvas and then I'm gonna start moving it around the edges. I decided there wasn't enough gold, so I added a little bit more of the gold before I started moving it around. As you can see, this paint looks totally different. It has a thinner consistency. It's making a really cool portrait. But if I had to pick my favorite paint, by far it would be this one from Dollar Tree. Vote down in the comments for your favorite paint pour. Is it Dollar Tree or Five Below? Five Below had several different paint options, but I'm so excited that Dollar Tree is now carrying those paint pour paints, so I'm definitely giving this one to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has this whole section of wood crafting items that are great for different DIYs. I think this is going to be perfect as the top of my plant stand. Check out these wood slices for $5. I saw several wood craft items at Dollar Tree from their big displays that they have that you can use in DIYs for $1.25. They also had several wood craft items in their Dollar Tree Plus section. As far as the wood crafts at Five Below, I didn't see anything. So I'm definitely gonna give that point to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has so many different craft supplies and honestly I feel like they've really stepped up their game this year because they keep adding more and more items to their crafters square. 
The Five Below Crafts section is definitely limited to pins and paper. They have paints and brushes, but outside of that, that's pretty much what they have. <gasps> I need scented felt tip pens. Those look awesome. The crafts at Five Below are really limited, so I'm definitely gonna have to give that one to Dollar Tree because you guys know there's usually several aisles of Dollar Tree craft options. Dollar Tree has a lot of candy options that are priced at $1.25. You can get things as simple as these bags. They also have the really popular movie theater candy boxes. So Five Below has candy that starts at $1.50 all the way up to $5. I think the appeal here at Five Below is they have a lot of unique candy options. A Lunchable Gummy Crackers. They also have the pizza version. Oh my gosh, look at this gummy bacon. That's hilarious. <laughs> look at the mac and cheese. That honestly looks kind of gross. Now at both stores, you're gonna find candy options, but I really like some of the unique options you can get at Five Below. So I think the point's gonna have to go to Five Below. So Dollar Tree Plus has t-shirts for $5, which you know you can find at Five Below. Now I will say the section here is a lot smaller than what you could find at Five Below. It's also pretty difficult to find the size you want. You can tell that they're not super organized. Depending on what you're looking for, there's not a huge selection of shirts. Now Five Below has a huge selection of t-shirts. These are priced at $5, same as Dollar Tree. But the only problem is it's really hard to find your size. So for example, like this option, you can see there's a lot of different sizes. But if I go down here, maybe they have your size, maybe they don't. So that's a little tricky. Now, as far as shirts go, I'm excited that Dollar Tree Plus has them now, but there's so many more options over at Five Below. So the point goes to Five Below. Let's check out some of the toys they have in the Dollar Tree Plus section. They range between three and five dollars. I really like all the toy options they have at Five Below. They have a ton. And these are things that I feel like my kids would actually use for $5. There's all these different like fun kits that they can do. They can do like beads, sand art. They also have a lot of like soap making and jewelry stations. And then I love all of these different digging ones and science experiments. Five Below has a lot of surprise toys options as well. Oh my gosh, a Taco Bell squishies. <laughs> Sauce packets. Now as far as toys go, I feel like Five Below had a really big selection of toys. There were several aisles of toys, but Dollar Tree is definitely stepping it up. They had several name brand toys. So right now I'm gonna give it to Five Below, but Dollar Tree is definitely getting some better options. I'm excited to see the sketchbooks here at Dollar Tree because I love to pick them up at Five Below. These are the larger ones, they're $5, and then the smaller ones are $3. There's not really any fun designs with this one. They do have them with a cover like this, but I do prefer the spiral. So Five Below has a variety of $5 sketchbooks as well. They have the larger ones. I'm not seeing any of the fun ones I normally see with all the decorative details. They also have the ones with the hard backs. The sketchbooks, it's kind of hard to pick a winner because they had very comparable items. I ended up buying this one at Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna give it to Dollar Tree just because this is the one I purchased. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is plant. You can find faux house plants for $5 at Dollar Tree Plus. They have four different versions that you can choose from. They have a topiary, Monstera is this one, and then they have this snake plant. I think I'm going to get this one, and we'll see what we can find comparable at Five Below. 
At five below, the plants are $5.55, which is 55 cents more. They do have a wider selection of plants. This one's really similar to the one that we found at Dollar Tree. They also have this variety, which is nice with the fern. I really like this bonsai plant. I would have to give my points for plants to Phi Below. I felt like there was a lot more unique options. I liked the different variations in the planters, so I'm gonna go with Phi Below. Now for my Dollar Tree planter, I'm gonna be using this basket I found in the organization section. I'll be using this farm sign as well. Both of these items were $1.25, so this was $2.50 for the plant stand. I'm gonna be using a black rub and buff to make the edges more of a black color. I'll just go in with a foam brush and add it to the outside layer, and then I'll also brush the black around the sides. With my gold base, I'm gonna spray paint it outside with two coats of a flat black spray paint. Once everything had a chance to dry, I'm going to attach the base to the back of my sign. I'll place E6000 along the center portion, as well as some hot glue, and I'll put on the wire basket. Once that dries, you can add in your $5 Dollar Tree plant from the Dollar Tree Plus section. The plant stand from Dollar Tree cost me $7.50 with the plant. So I created a plant stand at Dollar Tree, so I have to do it at Five Below. I found this wood, I found this wood keyboard stand that I think is going to be perfect. Now all I need is a base. All right, I think this is perfect. This accordion wall hook, now it's $5.55, but this is gonna make a perfect base. I wanted to create a planter based on items that I found at Five Below. I'm gonna be using this accordion wall hook as well as this other riser that I found that you could use for your keyboard. I have a rub and buff called ebony and I'm gonna use that on the handles to give me that rich black color. Now I didn't want it to be completely covered so I decided to use the rub and buff versus using a paint. And I'll just use a foam brush to add it on. Now you could tape this up before you start working on it. I did not do that, but I did come in with a little bit of sandpaper to remove any excess. I'll add in some E6000 to my accordion wall hanger. I'm also going to add in some hot glue and I'll put this onto the bottom of my desk organizer. I'll let it sit overnight to let it dry. And then you can use this to display any of your plants on your table. I'm gonna use the Five Below plant and show you what it looks like on my dining room table. So you'll have to let me know which one do you like better. Dollar Tree or Five Below. In my opinion, I'd have to say I like the Dollar Tree DIY better. These wall shelves are $1.25. At Dollar Tree, they have an 18 inch shelf here for $5. Now over in the shelf section at Five Below, they have these clear ones in two different sizes. They also have a floating shelf. They always have some kind of fun planter shelf. This one's great, you can add a faux plant to it. They also have these cool triangle shelves. Now as far as shelves, I felt like there was definitely some more unique options at Five Below. I love that triangle shelf and the clear one, so my point goes to Five Below. If you love crafting and DIY, you might wanna consider joining my Facebook group, Liz Fenwick DIY. Over there, you can post your crafts and DIYs and get feedback from the group, and it's a great community. If you know anything about Squishmallows, they're a really popular toy item. Here at Dollar Tree, they don't have the Squishmallows. They do have this plush pal version, and they have several different versions. They're $5.
The stuffed animals are $5 here. Now they're definitely smaller than the ones we saw at Dollar Tree. I'm not seeing the Squishmallows yet. They may be in another area of the store. So Squishmallows actually sell out really quickly. So I asked the manager at the Five Below and she said they put them out on Sundays. So I guess if you want them, you gotta get to this store on Sunday. Based on the stuffed animals I saw at both stores, I'm gonna have to give it to Dollar Tree. Now, if your heart's set on a Squishmallow, you may wanna go with Five Below. Dollar Tree Plus has $5 throw blankets that are 50 by 60 inch. A lot of them are in kid patterns. I'm noticing some solid colors over here in the blue. The throw blankets are $5.55. They have this Sherpa style. It comes in a variety of colors. It looks like they have a gray one. They also have like white and purple. And then I also am seeing this throw blanket. This one's kind of cool. It's got like an ombre effect to it. I'm gonna have to give the uniqueness and colors to the blankets to Five Below. I felt like there wasn't that many to choose from at Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna give a point to Five Below. You can find seasonal decor at both stores right now here at Dollar Tree. They have a lot of Easter stuff on the end caps. Loving these bunny wreaths for $5. Five Below has some seasonal items, but it's definitely limited. Right now they have some different seed packets out and they usually always have a new section where they have things like their newer pillows as well as like new plant options. Now, Dollar Tree is definitely known for their seasonal decor. There's usually every holiday they celebrate as well as the season, so I have to give that point to Dollar Tree. Here are some of the water bottle options that we were able to find at Dollar Tree. So I'm over in the water bottle section and I kind of have a dilemma here because the water bottles here are definitely better, but they're all priced at $5. And at Dollar Tree, you could definitely get them for cheaper at that $1.25 price point. So we compared the water bottles and to be honest with you guys, I probably would not buy the ones at Dollar Tree, but I don't think I'd buy the water bottles at Five Below either. So honestly, no one gets a point. This is a five by seven frame at Dollar Tree for $1.25. As far as picture frames at Five Below, they have some unique options. Like I think this one is really pretty. Again, this one's $5. You can also get a gold frame. Now, while Five Below had some cool options for their picture frames, they were $5.55. And at Dollar Tree, you can find so many different picture frame options for just $1.25. So I'm gonna have to give the point to Dollar Tree. Let me know down in the comments, which store did you like better, Dollar Tree or Five Below? It's probably not a shocker, but I'm gonna have to go with Dollar Tree as my winner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video style. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in our next one. Bye.